expert predicts market crash of a lifetime. And someone who accurately called the Japan crash of 1997 and the banking global crisis of 2007 is making a prediction that the next crash is going to be the biggest crash of our lifetime. First off, I'd like to ask you, do you think that a crash is coming? And do you think it's going to be a big one, maybe as big as our lifetime? Um, I think the potential is yes, but I do think that the amount that this expert is saying is maybe a bit high. So let's have a bit of fun. Um, if you can guess who this expert is, first person to guess, I'm going to give you a silver coin for fun. So he's a well-known expert and he's predicting the biggest crash in our lifetime. He's actually predicting an 86% drop. Um, that is not me saying that. Do I think a crash is coming? Yes. Have I been saying it since just after lockdown when I figured out what was going on? Yes. Do I think it's going to be big? Yes. Could it be the biggest in our lifetime? Yes. I mean, I'm only 45, so um, it would only have to be the biggest crash in what? The last three, from the last three cycles. Um, do I think it's going to wipe out and hurt a lot of people and a lot of businesses? Yes. Do I think there's going to be big opportunity and big upside from this? Yes. Yes, I do. So I want to equally warn you and inform you of the upside opportunity. Um, keep guessing. It's actually not Robert Kiyosaki who's predicted this crash. It's actually not Warren Buffett who's predicted this crash. Um, so he thinks that there's going to be an 86% drop in the stock market. He thinks the reason that we've got the biggest crash in our lifetime coming is because of all this financial stimulus through lockdown. Now, I, I agree that the financial stimulus through lockdown is going to have massive consequences. In the UK, we spent a trillion, a trillion on lockdown. And that's going to have massive consequences. I said that could hurt us for 10 years or more. And now Labour are coming in. They don't like the rich. They don't like the middle class. They don't like the upper working class. They don't like anyone who's entrepreneurial. They don't like anyone who makes any real money. They don't like the private sector whatsoever. So they're going to smash up all the, the taxes. They're going to blame it on the Conservatives and say they had to because there's a black hole, even though they're making new black holes, spending tens of billions in increasing the public sector wages and throwing money overseas left, right and centre. Anyway, so I think this one trillion extra spending that wasn't budgeted for, well, it's got to be paid back. Um, and that's the only way Labour know how to make money in their economy or create... I mean... Increasing taxes doesn't create growth, let's be honest. Um, so, in America, I imagine they spent more than a trillion because they have a much bigger economy. So, has anyone guessed yet who this is? Who's predict it's, it's not Michael Berry, although Michael Berry has um, liquidated billions um, because he believes there's a massive crash coming. He's not just saying there's a big crash coming. He's actually liquidated billions in cash ready to go. Warren Buffett just sold 7 billion of Bank of America shares. So that either means he thinks that the banks are going to go bust, or it means he's liquidating cash so he can invest when the assets come down. So quite a lot of these massive investors are liquidating assets and getting heavy into cash because they're getting ready for this crash. So if Michael Berry, you know, he's, he's the big short guy. So he, he shorted in the last um, big banking crash and cashed in big time. Michael Berry's predict predicting it. Kim Kiyosaki is predicting it. Obviously, she's a um, partner with Robert Kiyosaki. Warren Buffett looks like his behavior. He's predicting it. OK, so the guy who's predicting the next crash, he says it's coming mid 2025. Personally, 
I've been pre- I've been predicting it for a while, but it doesn't seem to happen. They just keep keep seeming to be able to delay it. You know, financial stimulus, money printing, increasing the taxes. They just seem to keep being able to delay it. None of them are going to want a massive crash on their watch. So personally, I think it could be a bit after mid 2025. But this expert is predicting 2025, and he reckons the stock market's going to go down 86%. I can't see it being that much, but I could see it being more than 30%. In the last banking crisis of 2007, when um, th- th- that made me many millions of pounds, by the way, then, because I turned it into opportunity. Um, it was about 30% drop top to bottom in our local area in real estate prices. So I'm predicting a bit of a bigger crash than that, but certainly not 86%. Anyway, the guy, has anyone got it yet? I'm giving away the silver coin if anyone can guess who's predicting this. Predicted the Japan crash, predicted the 2007 crash. He is a bit of a doom monger and he does spend most of his career predicting the crash. So he's going to be right every 15 years. But the guy is called drum roll. Has anyone guess? Anyone got the silver coin? His name is Harry Dent. Harry Dent. So Harry Dent, Michael Berry, Kiyosaki's, Warren Buffett are all through action or words predicting the crash coming. I am too, because you can't spend a trillion of extra money that's been printed and borrowed without what goes up must come down. And of course, there's going to be massive tax burdens on that. Businesses are going to go bust. Interest rates have gone up. People aren't going to be able to afford their properties anymore. Property prices are sky high. It's all got to come crashing down. What goes up must come down. Ask anyone who's ever taken Viagra. (laughs) So this is for the for the standard homeowner. This is bad for the, the person who's got a little bit of money, not much, but a little bit in savings or is just about surviving, this is going to be really bad. And this is why I launched Rob.team before the lockdown and then reduced the price by 80% when lockdown happened to help as many people on this planet get better financial knowledge. Whether you're a master or a disaster, a winner or a beginner, I want to help you make more money and beat this cost of living crisis and beat this recession, depression and crash that's coming and actually turn it into your advantage and actually cash in on it. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, to cash in on the crash, invest in real estate, gold, silver, start a business, become an entrepreneur, get your tax bill down, your income streams up, I recommend you join Rob.team. Rob.team is my digital financial freedom platform to help you start and scale a business, make, manage and multiply money. And I've spent more on coffee this morning than it costs you in a month's membership. It's less than 20 pence a day. You can cancel any time. There's no ongoing contract really easy and I recommend you do it now so you don't forget and you can claim these bonuses. Just simply open a new web page right now and type in rob.team. It's as simple as that. Just open up a new web page and type in rob.team. Rob.team. I can see people going so go along with them. Less than 20 pence a day, cancel any time, no ongoing contract. Hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses on money, business, finance, how the money system works, how to invest in assets, how to get your tax bill down, how to build multiple streams of income, etc. And I've got various bonuses in there. Um, For example, there's my 12 module 18 hour money mastermind university series. Everything the school system should be teaching you, but isn't. Everything your parents should have taught you but didn't know and everything the banks don't want you to know about how the money system works. Believe you me, when this recession, depression and crash happens, yeah, OK, a few banks will go bust. But the big banks and the central banks will make trillions. BlackRock and Vanguard will make trillions. BlackRock and Vanguard and State Street, um, they are the, the biggest shareholders in most of the S&P 500. And they control 11 trillion of equities. And BlackRock have said, it's, it's obvious and open that BlackRock are buying up loads of real estate. They could, they could control 40% of the single family home market by 2030 in the US. Lloyds in the UK want to be the biggest private landlords. These big banks, these unbreakable banks are, are making big moves and cashing in. And these big 
billion and trillion dollar um, richest people in the world, investors, funds. They're all making moves into cash so they can um, be liquid and agile when it's time to cash in, when assets drop and they're cheap. And so I can teach you how to do the same thing in Rob.team. I did it in 2007. I was buying single family homes for between 40 and 70 grand in 2007. I bought dozens of them. I wish I bought thousands of them. Um, and they've doubled and some have tripled in value. I bought a hundred apartment block while well, I developed it with my business partner. Uh, and that kicks out um, more than a million a year in rent. Um, even on the net, I can retire. I could give everything away except that building and retire me, my family, my kids, their kids, their kids. And all this was built in the last recession. And I see it coming again. And, you know, Mark and my business partner and I are always trying to buy property. And we look at the prices all the time, obviously. In fact, there's a hotel there we tried to buy. Um, huge one. Price was not quite right. Um, anyway, we've got a, a three million deal we're just putting together right now. Price is right. We bought a Pizza Express building for three quarters of a million in a year without a refurb or changing the tenant, it's now gone up by 450 grand. We're also putting a deal together for 400 apartments and the price is right. And we've been waiting for a few years for the price to be right. So we're seeing it. Now it's gonna be blood on the streets. It's not gonna be easy for everyone. That's why joining Rob.team is really important because whatever level of financial education you are, master or disaster, winner or beginner, there's courses, resources and masterclasses to help you hundreds of hours um, and I dropped Rob.team by 80% to help people when lockdown happened the price and I haven't put the price back up since because things are still fucked <laughs> and they're going to be fucked for a while so you can essentially get Rob.team for 80% of what you would have to have paid before lockdown which is less than 20 pence a day which is less than I've spent on coffee this morning I get up early and you just type in Rob.team to join if you have kids under the age of 18, you can share your login with them and they can get free membership. I'll always let kids under the age of 18 um, have free access and membership because that's part of my foundation to help young and underprivileged people start meaningful businesses. And believe you me, there's going to be a big divide of the successful and the broke, the rich and the poor, the winners and losers, a big divide, a big wealth gap, a big disparity. And so you have a choice now. Are you going to invest in yourself? Are you going to learn how to cash in? Even if you don't have any money, you need to learn how to raise money. You need to learn how to do partnerships. You need to learn some basics of money management because um, actually it's a huge opportunity if Harry Dent is right. If there is going to be the biggest crash in history, if it is going to be 86%, um, now I think he's a bit of a doom monger, but I do think it could be the biggest crash in 100 years. I do think that's quite plausible. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in Rob.team. Let me know what you think about, do you think there's a recession or a crash coming? Do you think the house prices have got a drop? Um, do you think taxes are going up in the next budget? And quick summary, Harry Dent reckons it's going to be an 86% crash of the stock market. He thinks it's going to happen mid-2025. He believes it's because of the trillions of financial stimulus from the, the lockdown, which to be honest is a bit of a black swan event, so I could see how it could do something quite unique to the market. But um, be greedy when others are fearful, and fearful when others are greedy, and observe the masses and do the opposite. If the market does crash like he thinks it does, this is going to be the opportunity of a lifetime. Believe me. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in Rob.team. Type rob.team into any web page. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.